What's going on guys? My name is Micah and this is going to be the 23rd and final video in this uh, 2D iPhone game programming series. We actually have all of the functionality of our game already finished um, as I was talking about in the last video. So this video is just going to be um, just, some, just some things to kind of close this tutorial series and just kind of talk about a few things. So uh, this is just a little thing I coded out. Um, it's not much code, it's pretty simple. It's called Hop Hero Hell. Um, remember back in, I don't know if like one of those tutorial videos I mentioned that I really liked the apply impulse action um, for physics bodies. This is pretty much the reason why, because you can do stuff like this. You can just like launch, <laughs> launch blocks in any which direction and you can do it a lot. So um, all this does is when you click on the screen, it launches the block in a random direction and it is making my computer freak out right now because um, I'm running the video software at the same time. But yeah, that's Hop Hero Hell. <laughs> I will, if you guys are interested in this, I'm, I will uh, scroll down through all the code for it. It's basically just all in one file here. Let me close out of this. So actually, I want to see what happens if I, okay, I can't, if I like fill this up all the way. Uh, what will start happening to the blocks. Uh, and they'll just like squeeze in and like run on top of each other. And it's actually pretty, that looks actually pretty cool. I like that. And you can like, it's like a river. Okay, anyways, I am recording right now. So I will close out of this. Um, I'll scroll down through this. This is pretty much all of the code for it. If you wanna pause the video, and um, maybe you look at it, copy some of it, whatever you guys want to do here. Um, essentially, I just like set up the walls on the left, uh, right, and top and bottom. And then I created a method called spawn hero in point. It creates one of those heroes, sends him in a random direction, and gets a random color for his body and left and right eyes. So that is that. Um. Yeah, so I really enjoyed making this tutorial series, and um, for my 10 subscribers <laughs> that I have right now, uh, you guys are awesome, seriously. And anyone who left a comment, I loved, I loved reading your guys' comments. Um, yeah, I just had a really good time. So I'm going to be making other tutorial series videos. Uh, the next one I'm going to do is actually going to be Objective C. I linked to Bucky's Objective-C tutorial in this first, um, the first video of this tutorial series, but I was reading some of the comments on his video and it sounds like um, his videos are a little bit dated. Um, he did make them over four years ago, so I'm going to do a Objective-C tutorial series that will be updated for Xcode 5, um, which hopefully will be helpful. That way you can actually start with the Objective-C and go right into this tutorial for, those of, for um, anyone who hasn't actually had any experience with Objective-C. So I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Um, yeah, if you found this tutorial, tutorial series useful and you haven't subscribed yet and you wanna do that, there is that pretty little red button um, in the bottom left here just below the video. Um, it'd be awesome if you could click there and I will have more videos in the future. And other than that, um, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, I actually, yeah, I had a lot of fun making this series. So hopefully I will see you guys in future videos. Later.